Victor Echo 3, November Echo Alpha, shared this new software for ham radio satellite operations yesterday in the AMSAT bulletin board. Uh, it is open source and uh, I thought of uh, checking it out. This is the website you can see. This is the GitHub page of Skyroof. And these are the features listed. Detailed information about all satellites that transmit in ham bands. Satellite tracking in real time. Past prediction for the satellites. And visual representation of the current satellite position future passes using sky view, earth view, timeline, pass list. SDR based waterfall display that covers the whole satellite segments on the VHF and UHF bands. SDR based SSP CW FM receiver with receiver incremental tuning and Doppler tracking. Audio and IQ output to external programs via the virtual cable. Frequency scale with satellite names and transponder segments Doppler corrected. Computer assisted transceiver control of an external transceiver, antenna rotator control, all that an advanced LEO satellite operator would like to have. Program can work without an SDR or even without an, any radio at all, but many useful functions are not available in that mode. When through the system requirements, Hardware, computer, any modern 64-bit personal computer. Internet is required to download satellite data. SDR optional but highly recommended. Supported models, AirSpy Mini, SDR Play and RTL SDR. I have an RTL SDR blog V4, so I think I'll try to use that. Transceiver is optional. My dual band Radio IC2730 is not uh, cat controlled, so I think I won't be able to use it. IC9700 is an advanced satellite radio, which is useful. Antenna rotator is optional. Any antenna rotate, rotator supported by Hamlib. I not have uh, installed Hamlib. Maybe I'll have to think of it later. Software required is Windows 10. Windows 11 64 bit only. I have that. And Hamblin is optional for cat control and rotator control. So you can't do a cat control. But this is one aspect which I would like to have an update here. Uh, usually, SDR sharp software can be controlled by GPredict software for satellite prediction by using a simple XML plugin. Maybe, I hope either the original um, person or somebody else will bring out such a plugin for Skyroof as well. I moved to the downloads page and the current version is skyroof.zip version 1.00 beta. And I downloaded it. It came very fast. Actually, this is the second time I am downloading. That's why you can see two here. This is the downloaded file and it's a zip file and I'll extract it. This is the extracted file. I don't want the original one. Now I'll delete it and I'll open this extracted one. There is this pyroof.exe. I'll try running it. As usual, warnings come because unknown publisher, but run on anyway because I can trust software shared in the AMS and bulletin board. Yes, another question. I'm going to install it and create a desktop shortcut as well. Additional files are being downloaded now. And 
Microsoft Windows Desktop Runtime 9.04 for uh, x64 is being downloaded. Oh, it is over very fast. Now you can launch Skyroof. I have to enter my call sign. I have entered that. Now grid square. That has also been entered. Altitude is around uh, 11 meters. I have entered that also. Now downloading satellite data. I think it might take some time because there are, might be a lot of satellite data to be downloaded, but it did not take that time. Uh, this is a problem. Object reference not set to an instance of an object module style roof. Function double. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll try ignore and see. And now I have at least uh, I have resized the window so that it is visible in the screen. And uh, there are a lot of satellites here. Aris. Aris is there. The mode VAPRS. And there should be the view voice repeater also available. It's in the group of active ham satellites. And uh, Doppler tracking is shown here. Link is shown as USB, but I'll have to change it. This is FM. RS is FM. I'll change it myself. Had a look at the menus, the view is there. I wanted to see the sky view. The sky view is showing satellite currently in range A07. You can see the satellite moving across the sky. And LOS is shown as 14 minutes approximately. You can see it nicely moving here. I'll see another view. That is the Earth view. Again, the same satellite can be seen. This is Aris, which is seen here. This is the timeline which is shown here. Satellite passes. Satellite details are given. Saria means there is only International Space Station. Satellite transmitters, different types of transmitters in amateur radio on International Space Station, SSTV, VUFM transponder, all those are given there. I did not uh, configure my RTL SDR because I think that needs installation of additional software like family. So I have not done that. Let me see whether I can see other satellites. The reason SO124 is there. That is also shown in the sky map. Let me see in the Earth view. SO124, this is SO124, seen in the Earth view. Another satellite. And more 122. Let us see in here. It's 
sky view. RS44. Anyway, that's a brief review of uh, Skyrope 1.0 beta.